Okay, a common problem that we have in cryptography is to be able to solve uh, an equation such as this. So this is where we have d, we multiply by e, we take the mod of a value n and we want to end up with a value of 1. It's used in RSA and quite a few methods. So let's say we have e and n, how do we calculate uh, the d value so that the result is 1? Remember, mod is the result of, uh, a, of a remainder of an integer divide. Okay, so if it's fairly simple numbers like uh, an e of 2 and an n of 3, then 1 times 2 is 2, mod 3 is 0, remainder 2, so the result is 2. Then we have 2 times 2 is 4, 4 divided by 3 is 1, remainder 1. Okay, so the answer is 1, so that works. So the value of 2, when paired up with 2 and 3, make that statement correct. Obviously the values that we're going to have in real life are much greater. So let's look at a value of 31 and an n of 110. So one way we can do it is that we can go through all the values of d that are possible. So we'll take a value of 1, 2, 3, 4, work out when it's multiplied by 31 and then take a mod of 110. So those are the values that we get uh, and then we end up that the value of 71 is the correct one, the one that fits. Okay, so there, there we go there. That's all the values and there it's found at 71. So hopefully we can check that uh, 31 times 71 is 2201. If we take a mod of 110, we get 1. So we've solved that one. Okay, so unfortunately, if we use very big, large values, then it's going to take a long time to be able to process that. Luckily, there's a method called the Euclidean algorithm, which is normally used to find the, uh, the greatest common denominator between two values, but we can run it in reverse uh, and actually use it to be able to find this reverse value. Okay, so here we have it here. So if you're interested, uh, there is the code uh, related to it. Okay, uh, but it runs much, much faster than the than the other methods that we saw. So we have, uh, in this case, 31 and 110, and we can see there, there's the answer of 71. We can try with larger values if, if we want. So in this one here, here is the inverse of 7 and 8820. And you can see the result is 503. If you want to check these, I've given the, the web pages uh, that will actually show you the, the work the working out of them. Okay, so there's the code. We've used big integers because really it's very difficult to do some of the calculations without using uh, big integers. So where is it seen? Well, basically we have it with inside our public key encryption, RSA public key encryption n value is the prime number, the two prime numbers, minus 1, and then multiplied it together with each other. We select an e value, and then what we want to find is the decryption key. So Eve, uh, at Bob, should find this quite easy to be able to find his own uh, decryption key because he has the value of n. Eve doesn't have n. So she'll find it very difficult to actually find a value of D that actually works because there are so many different different ones around. So here's an example. N is two prime numbers used is 13 and 17. So we get a, a, an N value in this case of 192. If we have an encryption key of 71, what is our uh, decryption key? And if we do it, there's the answer there. Our decryption key is 119 because it takes the inverse. Okay, so you should find uh, there are a number of uh, examples that uh, you can try out. Right, so I'm going to show you where uh, the inverse is actually used. So what we do is we generate a couple of prime numbers. So we'll take 29 and 23 in this case. We then work out a value of n, which is the two of them multiplied together, and also a value of phi. Phi, we take 
one away from each value, multiply them to get to that value. So in this case, uh, our phi is 28 times 18, which is 504. We then pick a value of E, which doesn't have any shared, uh, shared factors than phi has. Okay, so we can quite easily select uh, E, say to be 311 in this case. So our reverse comes in here, where we need to we need to find out the uh, the reverse value for d times e mod phi uh, to give us the value. Okay, and there is uh, there. Okay, so we can have a look at some simple examples. It's probably easier to see simple example. So there's a value of 11 and 3. So the n is 33 and phi is 20. Now the factors of phi are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. Okay, So those are the, the values that can be uh, divided into 20 equally. So we'll select one. We could select 6 or 7. But what we'll do is we'll select 3. So then we have 3 times d mod 20 is equal to 1. Okay, So if you click on the link, hopefully we'll get... A result from that. Okay, so 3 and 20, the result that we get is 7. Okay, so 7 becomes our decryption key. So the keys that we have are 33, which is the n value, and 7 for, for our decryption key, and for our encryption key, 33 and 3. Okay, so we can share those, uh, those values. Okay, and then when we come to decrypt, we take the message, raise it to the power of n, e, and then take mod n, in this case to get 31. We then take the cipher back, we raise it to the power of d that we've calculated in 7, and we get our value back. Okay, so that's where it uh, it all works out. This is uh, some more complex example here, 79 times d, mod 3200. Zero, zero gives us a value of 1019. Okay, so that's showing you an example of how we use the inverse.